Barak da Yahweh, Barak da Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled, The Roman Catholic Church is the False Prophet. Now we are the Hebrew Israelites and we believe in the Holy Scriptures. Okay, we filter history and current events through the scriptures to prove that those current events and the history is true. Lord will, I'm going to utilize this article filtered through the scriptures to prove that Pope Francis is an agent of Satan. My source is yournewswire.com. Article is entitled Pope Francis, There is No Heaven or Hell, dated on October 29th. 2017, Pope Francis has continued his mission of turning his followers away from traditional Christian teachings, telling Catholics that there is no heaven, purgatory, or hell. Eugenio Scalfari, a close personal confidant of Pope Francis, wrote in La Repubblica, Pope Francis has abolished the places where souls were supposed to go after death, hell, purgatory, heaven. Pope Francis has also started taking the liberty of rewriting the words of sacred scripture as he sees fit, adding satanic themes to Bible verses. For example, in the morning homily at Santa Marta on September the 4th, 2014, Francis completely reversed the meaning of a verse from the Bible falsely attributing to St. Paul the satanic words, I boast only of my sin. Pope Francis then concluded the homily by inviting the faithful president to boast of their own sins, death, murder, adultery, before mocking Jesus who naively forgave them on the cross. And these are this man's words. But in none of Paul's letters can such an expression be found. Pope Francis was teaching false scripture. The apostle instead says of himself, if it is necessary to boast, I will boast of my weaknesses. 2 Corinthians 11 to 30, after having listed all the hardships of his life, the imprisonments, the floggings, the shipwrecks, Pope Francis was also caught on radio earlier this year attempting to deceive his flock and steer them away from Jesus Christ, telling listeners that Jesus turned into Satan. And that's why the scriptures classify the Roman Catholic Church along with the popes as false prophets, okay? Having a personal relationship with Jesus is dangerous and very harmful, the Pope said during the June 25th speech, raising fears that he is the false prophet foretold in Holy Scripture and prophecy. Revelation 16 and 13, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Let's focus on false prophet in the Greek. Strong's G 5578, Suda Prophetes. Suda Prophetes. And it states, one who acting the part of a divinely inspired prophet, others falsehoods under the name of divine prophecies. Hey, first and foremost, Yahweh by Shem El Shai doesn't deal with Edomites, okay? An Edomite cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Let's continue. A spurious prophet. Now, when you look up the term spurious, it means not genuine, okay? So, this man is set up as a man of the Lord, but he's not. Pretended foreteller, which he is, or a religious imposter, right? Because he imposes to be a man of the Lord, but he's not. Only the Israelite man can be man of the Lord. And right now it's beginning with the elect men of Israel. Now, according to this article, Pope Francis stated there is no heaven or hell. Now, if you understand the scriptures and all praises to Yahweh by Shem El Shai, heaven and hell is spoken of in the scriptures. Heaven is a condition played out on earth as well as it's considered as the spiritual realm, also known as the fourth dimension, fourth dimension and the third heaven, as well as hell is also a condition played out on earth and is also the grave. Let's prove heaven. Second Corinthians 12 and 1, it is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Mashiach above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, the most I knoweth, such an one caught up to the third heaven. Talking about the spiritual realm, the, spiritual realm, the place where we all go when we leave earth. 
and I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell the Most High knoweth, how that he was caught up into paradise. Now Paul is saying that the third heaven is paradise, and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Meaning, once Paul got to the third heaven, it was so magnificent, so glorious, that he couldn't even put in words what he saw. All right? But this alone proves to you that there is a heaven, all right, according to the scriptures. Matthew 22 and 29, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. For in the resurrection they, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High in heaven. Right. Because when you look up the term resurrect, it means to rise. What rises? Your spirit. It goes upward. And where is upward? The third heaven, the fourth dimension, or the spiritual world. And this is Job 3 and 13. For now should I have lain still and been quiet, I shall have slept. Then had I been at rest with kings and councils of the earth which build desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver. Or as in hidden a timely birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. This is talking about the spiritual world. There the prisoners rest together, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Job is basically cursing the day he was born because he was receiving so much hell and he was basically saying that if he would have just came in as a stillborn he would return to the third heaven man and been comfort because why you're back in paradise you're back in peace man all right and this is Acts 1 and 7. And he said unto them, This is Yahweh Shai, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after, the, after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and, all, and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So where did y'all shall go? He went back to paradise, man. Okay? Just to prove the point. Luke 23 and 43. And Yahweh said unto him. Now this was the, the righteous male factor that basically asked for forgiveness. And Yahweh shall say unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. So prior to them dying, you know, Yahweh shall told him that, Hey, today you're going to be with me in paradise. So once they perished, they went straight to the spiritual realm. All right. This is to prove hell. Now this is King David speaking in the spirit. And he was prophesying Yahweh shall. For thou would not leave my soul in hell, talking about the grave, neither would thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Right, because after three nights, three days, Yahweh shall risen, man. Another point to prove that hell is played on earth, and it's a condition. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord Yahweh his power out of the fish's belly and said I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord Yahweh and he heard me and out of the belly of hell cried I and thou heardest my voice it wasn't no goddamn fiery pit man it's a condition Revelation 20 and 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death so how can death and hell be cast into the lake of fire Hell is supposed to be fire, right? This is symbolic talk, man. Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, Yahweh, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Meaning when you come back through the process of reincarnation, Yahweh by Shem al Shai, place your spirit in a body that's retarded. Place your spirit in a body that eventually will have a stroke. Or you get in a car wreck and you know your legs are, are amputated, but that spirit is still in that body. That's hell, man. Okay. Revelation 19 and 20. And this is the prophecy of the false prophet. 
and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast because a lot of people are going to receive the mark of the beast based on Pope Francis and them that worship his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone meaning those missiles are going to destroy their asses man hope you edify shallow